Okay guys, I'm gonna do my Egyptians today, get these out of the way, and then all I have left is the Celtic Empire. Okay, my Egyptians are not fully geared. They're close, I don't use them often, but we'll see that there is still work needing to be done with them. Okay, let's do the gear first. For the Temple of Ra, I use cheaper cost walls, and some people use um, wall joints, so they're cheaper, but at age 2 they're not that much cheaper, so I'd rather build them quickly. When it comes down to the Princess of Ra, it is the unit that you start with. She's the unit that, for people that don't know, that will help you build faster, train faster, get resources faster. Um, I've messed with all the scepters in the game that at least I get my hands on. And I found the best one to be this one. Um, the drop off rate is pretty high. The healing rate sucks, but the train rate is the highest in the game. Um, the only way um, Egypt can compete at 12 seconds speed with the rest of the civilizations if they use the um, advisor for help, but of course she has to use the advisor too, is with this train rate. If you do not use her, you're going to be two seconds behind on villagers alone. And if you're playing a PvP game, that could be very costly to you. Now when it comes to gear, I didn't care much, so I just went with speed armor and uh, speed boots. Now when it comes to age 3 temple, no excuse me, age well, 2, excuse me, um, I went with the cheaper walls like, I, like you've seen on almost everything, and uh, legend wall joints. It makes this very, very cheap, um, takes a little longer to build, but with the hammer that I have, it really does not matter, and I'll show you that when we get down to it. Now, to go to age 4, these are the best for the cheapest cost. Yes, it says, only says 3.5, just like this. But um, this is only age two, level 2. I believe level 10 is out there. It's not being dropped yet. And when it does, it's... Um, if it does, it's a huge, huge cost redu reduction. Then with the legend wall joints, and then if you use um, the onesie advisor, it, so I don't have epic, so I can't tell you how low the epic takes you, but I think it's like 500 and something gold, wood, food that I pay, which is, I mean, really cheap, so. Um, now when it comes to the other two priests, I don't use them. I know I probably should, but I don't. I haven't found a reason to yet, so I'm just going to skip them all together. Uh, my chariot archers, I find fun and entertaining now with the new bow. Um, before the range was not the greatest. If you like the chariot archers for their speed, um, use the boots and the advisor. I'll show you that when I get to it. Um, the best thing about a chariot archer is they kill cavalry quickly. Um, I have a Soli uh, video with gastros and chariot archers, and you'll see that chariot archers just kill uh, hippocons so easily it's not even funny. And of course you go with the range arrows and DPS um, tunic. and Sometimes I use speed, sometimes I use um, gauntlets, sometimes I use the ga new gauntlets that make them really cheap. It just matters on the map. Elephant archers I use now and then, um, not so much anymore, but a lot of people like to use them. They can take two to three hits and then they're toast. Um, DPS bow, of course range arrows. Um, max health armor so they can take the extra abuse 
and here I do have just the cheaper cost right now. Uh, slingers I don't use, I just threw some stuff on there that I had um, on other units and then I moved them like this tunic was on uh, the archer. Then I got that tunic and instead of throwing it away I put it down here. Okay, when it comes to the buildings, you see I have 7.1s and 5.4s and all the walls that you can buy in Sparta. As it comes down to my fortresses, pretty much the same for all my fortresses. I have the uh, bow that gives bonus damage to infantry. Athena's, Wall of Titans, and only for Iggy, I have a 7.1 on there because they train elephants. If I'm not going to train any elephants, I'll move um, a blueprint up. And for my towers, it's pure DPS too, but I just build them quicker. Houses, same thing. Um, I never did my lookouts for the Egyptians yet. That's totally stupid and irresponsible on my point because we all know that it's very useful. Um, my market is the cheaper walls and I don't know why I have that. That is just wrong. I've been saving these for the next civilization but you'll see me right now say that's a no-no and change that out because the market to train and research faster oops, passed it um, same with the siege and the stables and as all my town centers are <coughs> excuse me I go for stronger town centers not stronger in his attack but stronger in his can take abuse and then the Ares manual remember this manual right now in the spring patch does not work I don't know about summer but it does not work right now I'm going to skip my wonder my storehouse has a 7.1 on it and it has the cheaper walls. See, that's where it got mixed up. My storehouse should be built quicker. Oh, wait, no. I wanted my storehouse for Egyptians to train faster. That's right. I'll explain why in a minute. Usually, on my other three civilizations, all my storehouses just get built faster. But my storehouse is here. I wanted fast training for a very, very good reason. Um, the scout, this javelin is best for line of sight that I know of, and then of course the gorget and the fragment. Now I do use the camel riders now and then, I like them, they can be a good age 2 unit. I have the best spear for DPS, the best horse armor, and just the epic training sword is sitting here right now. For Egyptians, these are my favorite units. Um, I think a lot of people agree that the War Elephant is overpowered. Now, a lot of people go for max health. And when you play maps like Soli and even Marion, max health is beneficial because you can take more hits. But the problem is, is you just become a meat shield because you're not doing enough damage to them. Especially for a unit that's a 4 pop. When it comes down to this unit, you don't want this to be a meat shield unit. You want this unit to hurt. To hurt them, I mean, that's the point. They do small area damage. Um, me and my old co-op did beat Marion, not Marion, excuse me, Legend Soli with War Elephants, but I crashed at the end of the map, which I've been doing lately in Soli. I don't know why it's at the end. Um, but anyways, I didn't show it because I'm not going to show a video that's not fully done. I have DPS gear. Um, not the best in the game, but my DPS is over 120. And you got to remember, it's 120 with area damage. So the best spear for DPS. 
the best shield for DPS and critical combined. You know, I mean, there is better critical shields. Um, some people like the Spartan shield because it gives max health and max damage. It's a very good shield. If you want to use that, it is fine. If you don't want to spend money on Rostam, don't. I just like it because it adds that critical hit. And if you get a critical hit in an area damage, it's very good. Um, you will notice that I always say, forget critical hit. I hate it. It's It sucks. It's too low. But when it comes to the war elephants, when you get a critical hit, anything around it gets hit times three. And it's insane. They just drop. Um, now, I do not have the best Gorgat. I only have a 37. And, of course, I do not have Ramses here yet. I only have Ramses on the Celtic Empire and the Persian Empire. And it comes to my caravan for speed. Speed. I've been playing with this because I used to have Plato's tools on everything before the spring patch, but now I don't because this actually works better for training. But you, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it up between this and this for speed. Um, or if you have the epic helmet uh, hood, that will work even better. Fishing, do what they're supposed to. I just threw something on there. Don't have much here for the fishing ships. I really should upgrade them some. Transport. As you see, I got some speed gear on there. And it says garbage. Gar uh, no, movement speed. That's a good one. And then, I got movement speed, but it's low level. Um, now, when it comes to hammers, you're going to have a lot, a lot of people being controversial on this issue. But, Hammer Kevith is the best hammer in the game. Period. For Greek, for Persia, and for uh, Celtic. But when it comes to the Egyptians, because you have to build to age, you will want to have the blessed hammer. Now this isn't the best, there's 36 is the best. Um, not much better, but better. But if you're going to get a blessed hammer and you have Egypt, don't get a Keva. You need a blessed hammer to upgrade. Um, I've also noticed all of other three civilizations are more wood based um, but this is more food based so you would want an alligator hide here um, I tried wood here but I've lost too much in trying to get food for like the war elephants I'm going to skip the pikemen, don't use them just have stuff there same with the trim, don't use it I don't use any ships in um, my Iggy's, I don't know why, just, I guess they're too, too similar to Greek, and if you've seen my Greek video, I have those so pimped out that it just didn't, it just didn't want to do it all over again. Um, I have some things for the Rams, nothing spectacular as you see. When it comes to the catapult, down there. I decided to go with the Warhammer Titans for range, and then more range, and then of course, Heavy Cedar Beams for more damage. It's the unit that I use 90% of the time in Marion, Soul Eye, you know, I mean, even Papos. But I do have a Paladin with the same arm, the same armor, but I just train them faster. Because if I'm going to make a paladin, I'm only going to have maybe two or three, no more than five. Because the cats are going to be out in the field anyway, which will be plenty strong enough. Okay, moving on. Alright, let's look at the economy. Remember when I said that I don't uh, put uh, blueprints to build a storehouse quicker, I use... Uh, uh, 7.1 well I want to make sure these upgrades are built quickly 
when you're needing to build war elephants quickly, it's a pain in the butt if you don't have enough food or wood. Now when it comes to walls, Egyptians have the strongest walls in the game so far. As we know, there's going to be two new civilizations coming out, possibly, in the summer patch. We cross our fingers. But uh, there's a video out there with Engineer Sirik also, which shows that the hit points of the walls is like 35,000 something. Really, really crazy. Now, remember, I haven't done anything with my lookouts uh, for gear, but I have it teched here. I screwed up. Um, now, when it comes to ships, I do have both the train and the fire ship tech because of the cavalry and the ragged. Because I use the um, war elephants and the archers, so I want the bonus. It's common sense stuff, and I always upgrade all this stuff too. When it comes to military, this is my basic setup. I never ever use infantry here. I don't think I've ever used infantry in the Egyptians unless it was in the campaign because I was forced to. The things you don't see tacked that I would use is the camel riders. And if there's a map that I say, hey, I'm going to use camel riders, I reset the tree and use camel riders. Simple as that, because I'll never use the battering ram. But the other things, the other units that I do have lit up here, I use them. And of course, my armory is fully tacked out. Of course, my um, tower is fully tacked out, so I can get it cheaper. I don't have leg wall joints on these towers yet, I don't believe, but I'm going to. I think this is the only sieve that I don't have. Um, when it comes to the temples, I don't do anything with the temples. I only use it, the age one priest anyway, and that's just a train, and by, when I'm done I throw her away. And of course the market fully upgraded, so I get the trickle rate. Now, let's move to the advisors. And when it comes to the advisors for age one, the only ones that I ever use is Phil, sometimes Irene, um, because, you know, I want it cheaper if I need to get a, those storehouse upgrades. Uh, always the survivalist. And that's it. I don't have much here. Now for H2, I will use for faster cavalry. I will use for faster walls. This is just obvious. Um, see, this is fun. Because I have the star um, tech in my uh, tree that takes it 50% from 100. Then you use this advisor, it cuts it in 50% again. Because these don't stack now, so it would, that would make a farm free. It's only 25. So if you really want cheap, cheap farms, let's say you're building a lot of war elephants, get him, and get the uh, tech in the tree, and you're good to go. Dirt cheap. And of course, everybody loves Panjay. He's awesome. And then, of course, Village Elder. Make your villagers faster, and it is only by one second, so it's not like it's a huge loss if you do not have him. Age 3. I use him to build my fortresses faster. Of course, I only have Epic and Greek, but um, he's still very useful. I use Sophia too because if I want, as I said, get food faster. I mean, food, food, food is big deal for um, sorry, Harper, for Iggy's. So you really want to be able to get the advisors that help you there. This woman here um, is who I would use if I'm doing that one versus one rush for unstoppable skirmish. I have a video out there for Pez, but this is who I'd use. This is the woman. Um, so if any of you need to know who you use, this is who you'd use. You wouldn't use him 
you could use him, but he costs too much food and takes longer to build, so she's way better of a person for that. And last but not least, age 4, Zurich, if you want stronger walls, of course for stronger forts. This is a must for your war elephants to help you get up there in the high DPS. That extra 10% is huge. <clears throat> then we have our 4% guy, and if you like elephant archers, 30% less gold is big. Um, in the tree, their star tech is 15% less gold, I believe. I remember when I went to said chariot archers with the boots? Well, you throw in 20 more percent on there, those suckers really move. And it helps with um, reinforcing too. Um, like in Soli, you're going to die in one hit, so it's three population, so you're going to die quickly, but if you use this advisor plus the boots you're gonna literally go from your town center back in home in home base all the way up past where the general was out to the field within less than oh, 15 seconds and then you can reinforce very quickly and if you had um, new buildings where the general was to build more chariot archers you'd be there within three to five seconds I like him for some maps, but he's pretty much obsolete now. And then, of course, Timo. Well, if anybody has any questions about anything, don't feel afraid to ask. I have no problem answering them. You know, have a great night. Bye.